It's a big day for Alabama State football, mainly for in-season recruiting. Not only are we taking on Texas Southern, but we have four high school players making their official visits today, and they're all defensive players. So first we got this free safety, Steve McIntosh, coming in from Florida. Next we got Kevin Jackson, the North Carolina outside linebacker. Bobby Swagger from Hollywood, Florida, the defensive tackle. And then Todd Davis, another defensive tackle from Florida, Haines City to be more precise. We have to put on a big performance today, not only win, but win convincingly, hopefully. Northwestern beat Texas Southern. Then they lost to Kansas. Then they lost to South Carolina State of the MEAC, even in the video game, the MEAC owns the sweat. Mississippi Valley State, they get their first victory against them. After the bye, they beat Alcorn State, and then they beat Grambling State 49-28, put them in a spliff. And what's their award? They get to take on the number five team in the country today. Alabama State comes into this game as the number five team in the country, 5-0 and on the season so far. But don't forget, we are currently on a 24-game winning streak. So Texas Southern is a team that has given us some problems over the years. We faced them a couple of times in the SWAT championship game. Remember, the first time we played them in season one, their starting running back broke the Daly and Thomas's record on us with like 450-something yards rushing, which was crazy. But they're three and three right now, but they're three and zero in conference play. This could be a SWAT championship matchup down the road, people. So be on the lookout. So this game, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna rock the away jerseys for this game. Gonna do something a little different. We're gonna be like the LSU Tigers. So here goes Texas Southern coming out to the field and being profiled for today's game is our very own quarterback, red shirt freshman, Trey Tyler. You see the numbers, 20 touchdowns, two interceptions on the season so far. He has not thrown a pick since that game versus Georgia Tech, which resulted in two pick sixes. So there goes Adam Smith taking over for Willie Stepps, who just graduated, 72 overall. Justin Mon, their best wide receiver, is out for three weeks. Funny how we keep catching teams and their best players are injured. But the best player on this team is Greg Caldwell. Well, the best player on the offensive side. He's a 91 overall. I think he's the highest rated player on this team too. And then you have J.B. Holt, the big middle linebacker, 6'1", 243. So we're looking to win this game. Not only win, but put on a great performance on defense. And we are starting off on the wrong foot. There goes Blake Thompson taking the ball up the left side, finding the crease and getting the first down before he's finally taken down. So here goes Adam Smith, and this time Blake Clayton comes up from his strong safety position to make that tackle. Second and long situation, there goes Adam Smith throwing it deep, and that pass is caught. And look who got beat again, Brad Anderson. Brad Anderson, man, dang. So there goes Leon Hill with a tackle for loss right there. We're going to be running a lot of four linebacker six in this game because they love to run the football. Adam Smith pops it up the middle. It's tipped and intercepted by Brad Anderson. Brad Anderson with his first interception on the season. And we just spoke about how he kept getting beat. And finally he gets a pick. We're on offense for the first time today. And there goes the big L. Leon Henderson up the right side. I thought he was about to break that. That was a good run though. First and ten. Trey Tyler rolling out to the left. Trey Tyler looking for Henry Ortiz and that pass is batted away by J.B. Hope. When an impact player is a middle linebacker, you're going to have a hard time making passes up the middle, especially in the zone. Because they will jump 60 feet just to bat it down. See right there. J.B. Hope again on the deflection. So, Texas Southern got the ball back and look at William Dorsey with that TFA. Second and 15 now, Blake Thompson trying to go up to the left on the sweep. Robert Boyd was not having it. Third and low now. Look at Adam Smith. He finds Robinson up the middle. He doesn't get much. So they're forced to punt. We're back on offense. Trey Tyler, this time we're going to look for Scott Jordan. The 6'10 feet arm out of Idaho. He makes that catch and goes out of bounds. First and 10 at the Texas Southern 33. Don Robbie on the screen pass. Takes it up the left side. Pass the 20 inside the 15. He goes. We're in the red zone at the 14. Trey Tyler rolls out to the right. Trey Tyler, that's a bad pass. The free safety made a good read on the cup of one. Second and 10, the big air goes down in the backfield. So now takes us to the turning up on defense, third and nine now. Trey Tyler rolls out to the right, and that pass should have been caught. 
It was a little too far for Scott Jordan. So we set up for three points and Ziegler ships it, whips it, shanks it to the right side. The kick is no good. It's still scoreless. But Adam Smith, good shit. Robert Board on the sack right there. So here goes a play fake from Texas Southern. That pass is caught by Darby up the middle. And that's how the first quarter ends. After the one, it's still scoreless. So here goes Texas Southern on offense. Once again, Adam Smith looking deep for his receiver. And that pass is overthrown. We got the ball back after that first to punt. There goes Trey Tyler under pressure. And that pass should have been picked off. We was looking for Ryan Thompson. Second and 10, half back to red to the big L, Leon Henderson, and he gets the first down. First and 10 for the Hornets, we move it. At the 34-yard line of Texas Southern, Trey Tyler rolls out to the right, and this time that pass is caught by Ryan Thompson. A great diving catch right there. First and goal at the eight-yard line, we hand it off to the big L, Leon Henderson, and even if crossing the goal line, he falls forward. The first score of the game, we're on the board. Touchdown, Alabama State. It's seven nothing. Hornets are on top. It's a play fake by Adam Smith. Takes the Southern back on the field, and Adam Smith gets shot the game. There goes William Dorsey with his first sack of the ball game. Look at this again. Had to die for him before he got away. So it's second and fifteen. Adam Smith pops at the Greg Caldwell, the best player on this team, ninety-one overall tight end, and he gets the first down and much more. At the 36 yards line of Texas Southern, this time Adam Smith is looking deep and that pass is deflected away by Brad Anderson. A great recovery play by Brad Anderson. This time there goes Greg Caldwell once again. Look at that. Getting away from a defender and gets close to the first down marker. 31. They give it to the fullback. But there goes Scott McFarlane making a play right there. We forced him to point on fourth and inches and we got the ball back. The big L is trying to get something going though. So it's second and seven. This time he's blicking, but he doesn't get nowhere after spinning out that tackle. J.B. Hope took him down. That was a good tackle. This time it's third and seven. Trey Tyler, this time looking for Henry Ortiz and he dropped the ball. We're not sinking. We're not clicking on offense right now. So here goes the punt waiting forward. At the 30-yard line is Darby. He runs in the traffic. He broke out. Look at this. He broke out. Look at this, he's gone. 2010 touchdown, Texas Southern. Oh, wait a minute, there's a flag on the play. What's the call? What's the call? Come on, referee. It's clipping on Texas Southern. Bring that back, baby, let's go. So now it's a 3rd and 10 situation. Adam Smith looking deep, and that pass had no chance. He threw that in all kind of traffic. 4th and 10, and they're forced to punt once again. So we're back on offense. This time we're looking up the middle for Ryan Thompson. What a catch. He's tackled near the 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Hornets. We're in Texas Southern Territory. This time we're rolling out to the right. We're going to look for Ryan Thompson. He makes the catch. Ryan Thompson has been everything on this drive so far. First and 10 situation. Screen pass. Don Robbie get hit in the backfield. That's a loss of a yard. Second and 13. Trey Tyler rolling out to the right. Trey Tyler looking in the end zone, and that pass is too far. What's going on with Trey right now? So this time we're going to roll out to the right again, and Trey Tyler is just not in sync. Fourth and 13 situation. We roll out, and Don Robbie dropped the ball. We had a first down, but Don Robbie dropped it. So now it's first and 10. Adam Smith gets set. Leon Hill with another sack. There go, look at this play again. Look at Leon delivering the blow. Baptized him, Adam Smith with the holy water right there. What a hit. We go to the locker room, and the score is still seven to nothing. Alabama State is struggling. The nation's on notice. Can we finally get something going? So it's second half. There goes the second and 10 situation, and there goes J.B. Hope batting that pass away yet again. Third and 10 now. There goes Shane Harris, the fastest running back on his team, and he gets the first down. Notice the hot tackles. If this was real life, that would be targeted. So there goes Trey Tyler popping it. That pass is deflected and picked off. What a catch. Whitaker gets the INT off the Ryan Thompson mistake and takes the Southerns going the other way. So they're at our 37. Look at Adam Smith. He fumbled the ball and takes the Southern. Get it right back. Our defense continues to not be on alert when the ball slows. And look at William Dorsey with another tackle. Dirty long situation. Adam Smith with all the pass. Adam Smith popping it deep in the end zone and that pass is better away. Fits in on the coverage. We got the ball back. We're at on 20. Leon Henderson just can't get anything going. 
This Texas Southern defense is one of the best in the nation when it comes to run defense. But we're going to look for the 16 Phenom, who's one of the best in the country, coming out of junior college, and we get the first down. So there, go, there we go, another screen pass. This time to Don Robbie. He spins out of a tackle. Oh, look at that. He's blinking. Don Robbie Smith breaks free. Don Robbie touchdown Alabama State. What a play by Don Robbie Smith. A 51-yard pass. We're up 14 or nothing. Trey Tyler once again back on offense. Ryan Thompson makes that catch. Texas Southern did nothing on the last drive, so here we are. First and 10, Trey Tyler rolling out to the right. Trey Tyler looking for Don Robbie. Don Robbie up the right side. Don Robbie tackling inside the five yard line. What a play by Don Robbie Smith. So this time we're going to keep it going with the pass. Trey Tyler pops it. Oh, we fumbled the ball on the sack. And there goes JP Holt. JP Holt taking it back the other way. Look at this. We got too greedy on that last drive and it cost us. They're now on the board, it's 14 to seven. So now we're gonna give it back to the big girl, Leah Henderson. We should have did this deep in the red zone, but we didn't. And look at those two carries right there. A great run by the big L. We give it to Shane Harris this time. He goes up the left side. He tries to break a tackle, but then he's tackled around the 40 yard line. So it's second and one. We're going to Keon Peterson, the backup to Leon Henderson. And that's how the third quarter comes to win in it's 14 to 7 Alabama State the number five team in the country has not played up the part today a play fake this time we're looking deep in the back of the end zone for Don Robbie and he dropped the ball in his defense it was against two defenders second and ten situation this time we're going to give it back to the big air Leon Henderson he makes a man miss and he gets tackled inside the 20 yard line we're back in the red zone just like that can we capitalize this time? Trey Tyler rolling out to the right. Trey Tyler, nobody's over. He decides to take off and run. No, there goes Henry Ortiz. Touchdown, Alabama State. Henry Ortiz with the catch. Two touchdowns for Trey Tyler. And look at William Dorsey getting a cert. William Dorsey with his second sack of the ball game. What? Wait, wait, that's a flag on the play. What is this? What's the call? A late flag. They're calling a sportsman like Connor up the William Dorsey. Wow. Unbelievable. So now it's first and 10 at their own 29. And that time, look at Leo here delivering that blow right there. Baptizing Blake Thompson with the holy water. Third and long now. Adam Smith with the off to the pass. He pops at the derby, but he's well short of the first down marker. Look at that. We held them to 82 yards so far today. It's fourth and seven. They're going for it. Adam Smith with the off there to pass. He pops it and he dropped the ball. The receiver dropped it. The Alabama State defense stands tall again. So we're going to do another play fake. Scott Jordan, where are you? He's right there. The 6'10 Phenom with another great catch. Trey Tyler this time rolling out to the right. Nobody's open this time. Trey Tyler decides to take off, but he gets set. A bad decision there. Second and 11. This time a screen pass to Trey Tyler. We're looking like Graham Harrow and USC when they get inside the red zone right now, not capitalizing with all the pass. So we decide to go back to the run, and the Big L capitalizes. Touchdown, Alabama State. It's 28 to 7. The fans are excited. So this time, there goes Robert Boyd getting his set. These linebackers have been head busters all game, just straight busting up on the quarterback. Second and 15. Situation Adam Smith pops in, and it's picked off. Josh Sisk. The free safety gets another pick on the season. Josh Sis with a big play. We're going back the other way. Trey Tyler rolls out to the right. There goes Ryan Thompson. He makes the catch and gets tackled inside the five. Well, at the five-yard line. We move in the chains. We're at the five. And we give it to Shane Harris. And he cruises into the end zone on the half at the red. Touchdown, Alabama State. There goes the fans once again. Happy. We're spreading the lead. There goes Blake Thompson up the gut. Blake Thompson tries to get away from Blake Clayton, and he did, but he couldn't get away from Brad Anderson. We held him to six yards rushing so far. So here goes another play fake, and there goes Robert Boyd get set. Adam Smith, second and 16. At the 42-yard line of Texas Southern, Blake Clayton takes the ball up the left side. Somebody whipped on a tackle, and look at that hit right there by Wendell Davis. Wendell Davis next to Blake Clayton is no doubt our hardest hitting safety. Adam Smith rolling out. Adam Smith throws it off his back foot and that pass is caught by Robinson. 
He just threw that up and just knew somebody was going to come down with it. First and 10, Adam Smith, screen pass. There goes Darby taking it up the left side, and he takes it to the crib. A Texas Southern touchdown with 13 seconds left, but it's nowhere near enough to get the W. The Alabama State Hornets go to 6-0. A great, excellent performance by this defense today. We had six sacks, and look at this. We held in the 22 yards rush in the entire game. I think that's the lowest we've ever held somebody in a single game, ever, since this series started. So let's look at the stats. 370 yards for Trey Tyler, two touchdowns, and a session that wasn't his fault. 57% completion percentage. A great game, great, decent game. 13 carries, 113 and two touchdowns for Leon Henderson. Shane Harrison had a touchdown pass as well. Keon Peterson did a good job with the carry he had. I'm looking to get Keon Peterson some more carries though because we really need for him to get better because he's not bad at all. Ryan Thompson had a great game. Don Robbie Smith had a great game. Scott Jordan had a great game. He was seven yards from 100 yards, Scott Jordan that is. Henry Ortiz had that one good catch, but after that he kept dropping the ball. It's just, just ridiculous. Daniel Hayes led the team in tackles. William Dorsey and Leon Hill had tackles for loss. We had six sacks on his quarterback, and we had two interceptions, two turnovers. That is one thing that I want to improve on in this series. We need ball hawks. We need players that know how to turn the ball over. We need to force more turnovers. But today was a great day for the Alabama State defense. Six sacks and two interceptions. Plus a forced fumble. I can't be mad at that at all. But anyway, hopefully that will be enough to get those players to commit to Alabama State. We will see y'all next time. Peace.